And here we are. Welcome back, football fans, to another thrilling season of Football Rivals. I'm Skip Lloyd, your solo play-by-play -play commentator, and we're kicking off year two with a bang as the reigning national champions, Texas A&M, are here taking on the number 22-ranked UCLA Bruins in what promises to be an electrifying matchup. The kick is off, and of course, it's a touchback. After a phenomenal championship triumph last season the Aggies returned to the gridiron with even higher expectations and a talented roster led by sophomore sensation Kai Cash at quarterback Cash is under center out of the shotgun and immediately hands it off to Hobbs who gets right up the gut it's gonna be second and eight Cash is still getting a feel for this offense. He transferred over right before the start of the season. He's already comfortable enough to make an adjustment. Option out to Hobbs, but ooh, UCLA reads it. The Bruins bear down on the option there. And see, Hobbs is going to have his work cut out for him today. He was a phenom last season. But all eyes will be locked on the workhorse, Johnny Hobbs, as Kai Cash has got a third and 13 on this first drive of the game. Out of the shotgun, tosses it. He's got some space. He breaks the first tackle, breaks the second. He has got the first down up the field, almost to the 50-yard line. That is an exceptional screen pass to Mr. Hobbs. Now, you know they're going to rely on him. They are going to lean on him, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Johnny Hobbs is this Aggie offense, or at least he was most of the season. But now with a superior dual threat quarterback, will they shift to more of an up-tempo air attack? They're in shotgun here, but another handoff out of the shotgun, and he has got space. About five-yard gain on the play. That brings him second and five. Now you know this Does it is feel like we, we had any time off, folks, because we are Cash right under back center. at it. This kicks second off and five, well, not under excited. center, out of the shotgun. Fired up to see, see what he Cash. does here. Throws nice it. touch pass out to the flats, and he's got the first down. They are moving right away. Hitting big Parker. First and 10, they are behind enemy lines. About the 40 and a half yard line, right between the 40 and the 41, staying in the shotgun. Catch has got space, finds a man over the middle, and that is another first down. They're looking very comfortable on this initial drive. And let's see, can they march it right into the red zone? They're about 10 yards away at the 30, first and 10, staying in the shotgun. Cash keeping it this time, plows through the first defender and goes down inside the 20. Huge run for Ty Cash. Wow. Look out. The number one AM are gonna pick up where they left off out of the shotgun. Throws it over the middle. He's got one man to beat. He gets him in for the touchdown. With a personal foul. Oh, no. It's going to come back. We're going to have offensive clipping on Mike Hunter. Instead of a touchdown, it's a first and 21. Wow. Not exactly the way they were expecting it to go. Now he hands off out of the shotgun. Hobbs kind of barrels submarines up the gut, and it's really only a gain of one, leaving him with second and 20. This drive has gone almost to perfection until that clipping penalty against the tight end. Hunter kicking himself now. Cash gets it over the middle, picks up 10, and they are now back to a manageable third and 10. But they already had the six wiped off the board. Tough way to go. All day, all day, all 
Cash going completely empty set here. Looks like he's going for the end zone. He's got time. He throws it, he finds a man, and that is a touchdown. Redux. He finds the same man for six. And that is a great opening drive for the defending champions. Wow. Kai Cash. Looking good. Off to a hot start. Coach says, add a boy. You can't get it on the first one. Kick the door in on number two. Wow. You know, as the sun dawns on another college football season, the stage is set for an incredible season and hopefully some explosive offensive showcases, which maybe we're gonna see right here tonight. Got Breedlove, keeps it on the option. Ooh, gets laid out, but picks up six yards. Breedlove saw he, he had his runner already tracked, so he kept it, but he's a big boy, so he can take those hits. You see him towering over even some of his own offensive linemen. So now UCLA has got second and four, about the 30-yard line, hands it off. He's got space, gets the first down, he's moving. He gets tripped up around the 47-yard line. Great initial run there for UCLA. Just a pro-style man-on-man, helmet-on-helmet, hat-on-hat. Some good blocking out there to pick up the first down, and they are already tapping on the door trying to get past the 50. First and 10, Breedlove out of the shotgun. He fires it deep. Oh, and it's caught, incredible, incredible. Breedlove uncorks a moonshot into triple coverage and somehow, somehow it's brought down. That was just a phenomenal throw we are seeing a bit of a firework display on both teams opening drives now he's pitching it oh the option play gets sniffed out that time and a loss of yardage both the quarterback and the runner were covered that play was never really going to work from the jump but Breedlove He's trying to match Cash's offensive production with, with his own kind of onslaught here. He's also got a, a trio of talented receivers, and he finds one of them for the touchdown. Dane Carrington tying it back up. Well, not yet, but he's getting it close to tying it up. Nate Breedlove stands there and just fires a laser beam right on the hip of the receiver, and that is getting them right back in this game. Tack on the pat, and now we are tied up. Both teams march right downfield on offense. Both teams looking in mid-season form here at the kickoff classic. And speaking of kickoffs, out of the back of the end zone, it's a touchback. Kai Cash is going to lead this Aggies team back out. And he is clearly, you know, we're going to see it, I'm sure, but Kai Cash has explosive playmaking ability. He is absolutely the definition of a dual threat, and right now he is using the arm. Find him his receivers. That time picking up a healthy first down to Harris, who had the touchdown earlier. Harris makes a clean break off his man, then shoulders somebody on his way towards the 50. They're probably also around the 47, 48. Nope, little shy of that, 42, 43. Gotta get my binoculars out. The, the press box is a little higher here than some of the other stadiums. Oh, off the, the QB option. No, that was a Wildcat. Wildcat for Hobbs, picking up two. Gotta be, you gotta be careful with Johnny Hobbs. He's also got an arm. I believe he was a high school quarterback, so they may not be afraid to let him run or throw it as well. Cash in the empty set, second and eight. He makes a quick read to the receiver, picks up a couple. But it's gonna be third and four. 
Aggies are playing close to the line of scrimmage there. They've already seen a couple of these short, quick passes from Kai Cash. So they want to be on the lookout, not give too much of a cushion, or else they're going to get carved up all day. Third and four. Aggies shows it into the 50 now, about the 48-yard line. Cash in the shotgun. Hobbs goes out for a pass. Cash puts it up. Oh, no! Intercepted! Cash intercepted by the Bruins. It's Jim Parrish with an interception. Exception. Looks like it might have been Jim Parrish. Toe drag swag on the sidelines, getting a, a pro league catch there on the sidelines. He has got both feet down. That is definitely an interception for Jim Parrish. Wow. Huge turn of events here. Looked like the Aggies were marching right back downfield, and now Nate Breedlove is going empty set on first and ten. He drops back. He, he finds, finds his receiver on the sidelines. That is a side short pickup pick for only pick about three yards. That'll make it second, and seven. second and seven. Is there an echo in here? Breedlove again going empty. Interesting choice early in the game here. Sending the receiver back in motion. He hands it off, and he gets up to the first down. About the 45-yard line there for the Bruins. Little razzle-dazzle in the first quarter here, opening weekend for UCLA. Breedlove in the shotgun. The back stays with him. And it's an option, but Breedlove keeps it and tries to power through the safety, but he cannot. Even with his big frame, when you got a safety bearing down on you, he lays the lumber, stops him just short of the 50, it looks like. Just short. Second and six. Going under center for Breedlove. One man in the backfield who's staying in the block. He has to just throw it away. He feels the pressure, but the, the back did pick up the rush. But he just didn't seem to have anyone downfield. UCLA likes some of their timing and rhythm stuff. If he doesn't see it, he's just going to get rid of it. Again, empty. Oh, he gets him by the sidelines down to about the 39-yard line. That's a first down and a big catch for the Bruins' tight end. Both teams moving the ball. First and 10 for Breedlove and the Bruins. About the 39 yard line, shotgun set, hands it off. He's got space, he's got the first down. They are just moving. That makes it first and 10. UCLA saying, hey, we may not be number one, but we're still ranked. Don't forget about us. Breedlove's got the weapons to keep pace with this Aggie offense. So it's really about who's going to score last, I think, with this game. You can see both teams able to move it. The turnovers are going to be a big factor, too. You saw Kai Cash throw that interception, still getting comfortable with the playbook for the Aggies. He was not the quarterback under center for their championship run last season. So he has got a lot to live up to. A lot of pressure there. Breedlove fakes the handoff, finds his receiver, and oh, it looks like he had it, but got separated from it with a lockdown hit from the secondary. Got about 37 seconds left here in the first quarter. Third and nine shotgun for Breedlove. His back goes out on a route. Breedlove trying to scramble and cannot find enough open space and gets brought down behind the line of scrimmage. That's a sack for the Aggies, forcing fourth and 15. And what a hustle effort play. You see him get blown up by the offensive lineman, really upended, kind of goes head over tea kettle, and still ends up making the sack. That is some hustle for AF. Bruins forced to attempt the field goal for just about the 39 yard line, and it is good. UCLA takes the lead for the first time in this game. We are here in Dallas, so you know that the Texas fans want to see Kai Cash shake off that interception on this next drive and get some points right back on the board.
High cash coming out, first and 10. Nope, it's a wildcat. Hobbs holds it again, tries to shuck the defender, but he cannot do it. Brought down for a one yard loss. They're trying to keep him honest and make sure they keep feeding Hobbs the ball. That is the end of the first quarter here with football rivals. And what a start. You see Nick Harris getting his touchdown. You see the Bruins getting their touchdown. It's been a battle on offenses so far. You know, it's so great to have. Ooh, Hobbs breaking it off, fighting forward. Getting's a good chunk there. I was going to say, it's so great to have football back already. And we have got a splash of new players across the league, like Kai Cash, a user-submitted player who's got the ball, gets rid of it, dumps it off to the back, and he has got the first down and more. Huge play for Hobbs, showing that he will work any way he needs to within this offensive scheme and try to make Kai Cash look good. Hobbs goes out on a route. Cash holding the ball, but he runs it. He's got some room and he fights forward. That is a first down, a pickup of 10 for Kai Cash and the Aggies. And coincidentally, or not, they have broken the 50 yard line, about the 46 of the Bruins. Little motion set there. Hobbs tries to fight off the backfield rusher, but he cannot do it and is brought down for a loss. UCLA really keying in on the run today, which perhaps will continue to open up the passing lanes for Cash and company. Second and 12, Cash immediately tries to run it, but gets brought down. They sniffed out the QB draw. Third and 14 now. The Aggies, they have got to find some rhythm here. They looked good on the first drive. Second drive ended in an INT. Now they're stalling out near midfield. Cash has the ball, third and 14. He throws it, Hobbs catches it, but it is a messy, messy play. Sort of a delayed screen, but they all got caught up in the wash. Kind of throwing back against his body. Dangerous throw into traffic. Hobbs gets it, but runs into his own man. Maybe a little bit of week one rust. So they are gonna have to punt it away. This is our first punt of the game and we are deep into the second quarter. He gets the ball off, end over end. And it goes through the back of the end zone for a touchback. So UCLA really has an opportunity here to really start separating themselves from the defending champions. Breedlove in the shotgun. Fakes the handoff, he's running, he's got room, he bulldozes, absolutely truck sticks the defender. That is a large man playing quarterback and when he gets up ahead of steam, get out of the way, just get out of there. First and 10, shotgun, Breedlove, this time he does hand it off, he's got a shifty back who is juking and jiving and getting himself Seven yards on the carry. UCLA looking good. And Williams, like I said, got those twinkle toes, shifty feet there, which is a really nice when you have a one-two punch at running back, but really it's your shifty running back and your monstrous Frankenstein quarterback. Breedlove hands it off to Williams again, who shakes off the first tackle, but ultimately gets swallowed up for a few yard loss by the A&M defense. Williams actually is a guy who can usually get to the outside and then turn it north, but not on that one. Third and five, about the 39 yard line. Got a modified pistol set for the Bruins here. Looks like a screen. 
Oh, but Williams cannot shake the defender. Aggies defense coming up big here. Getting the ball back for their new quarterback. Breedlove really kind of locked in on Williams there. It was it was pretty obvious that he was going to him. You know, you got to have some backdoor stuff with the with the screen game. You got to have somebody away from the play as an option, and it didn't seem like he even looked for that outlet. The punt return getting up past the 20 to the 25 and out to the 30. Nice return. It's about 15, 16 yards on the return there. You see the Bruins defense coming back out. They've done a nice job so far. They let up that touchdown on the first drive, but that's just, you know, getting used to how the game's going to flow. Now Cash going empty on first and 10. He's got time, but he's running. Ooh. Gets laid out at the line of scrimmage. Looked for a second like he was really going to break it, but the defense closes fast. Second and 10 for Kai Cash and the Aggies. We're trying to find a rhythm. Again, they had that great opening drive, but after the interception and stalling out on the, the third drive, they've got to find their way here. Second and 10, Cash out of the shotgun. He's got time. He finds his receiver, who actually ends up walking it backwards a yard or two. Harris had that great touchdown grab earlier. Uh, but Nick Harris that time just took a few steps the wrong direction after catching the ball. Third and seven for Cash. Hobbs in the backfield. Hobbs goes out on a route. Cash fires it over the middle. And that is a first down. Hitting the tight end in stride. So now they're about the 45 yard line. Still in the shotgun, still with Hobbs in the backfield. Now it's just a QB power run all the way. Picks up about three on the game there. Now we have a, or I'm sorry, eight. Eight on the game there. What was I talking about? Second and two. Another shotgun set. Bringing the tight end into a H-back roll. As a pitch out, he's got him. He fights through for the first down. Some trickeration. Oh, that was the receiver. That was a receiver. I thought that was the tight end. Well, maybe it is the tight end. The numbers are always wonky. Hard to know. Hard to know who's who with all these numbers. I don't have the roster sheet in front of me. It's somewhere buried under my coffee. He's got a man coming around the edge, but he holds on to it. Is he going to pitch it out? No, he keeps it. That's a gain of about four on first down. They're really trying some of this motion option stuff. We'll see uh, if, if that continues to work. They're, they're getting chunks with it. Not breaking the big ones, but they're getting chunks and keeping UCLA off balance. This time he does hand it off to Hobbs, who is trying to stiff arm his way to freedom, but he can't quite do it. The linebacker wraps him up and drags him down. Now third and five. They're at the edge of field goal range, but you know they want more than that. Cash puts it up into coverage, and oh no! Another one! That's another interception, and also by Jim Parrish, his second interception of the game. Wow. Kai Cash really got to settle down. And Jim Parrish, wow. Having an amazing first half this opening weekend, getting two INTs. Both in really clutch moments. Now Breedlove has a chance to put more points on the board. Throws it deep and whoa, almost intercepted himself. That makes it second and ten. Got a buck 38 until halftime here at Football Rivals. Breedlove in the shotgun, second and ten for UCLA. The back goes out on a wheel route. Breedlove fires it into his receiver at the sideline. Third and three for the Bruins here. Got a full house going on in the back. Fakes the handoff, pitches it out. Oh! They're not going to call that a fumble. They're going to say that was a forward pass. 
that was incomplete. Very lucky, near catastrophe for the Bruins. Both teams trying to get tricky. Thought maybe we'd see a fake punt, but that was pretty deep in their own territory. He has got a lot of room to return, but he bulldozes forward to split the wedge. Wow, Parrish both times, both interceptions for Parrish were dot in the sideline. Toe tappers. Well, Kai Cash didn't give up any points on that interception, so he's got to just forget it, turn the page and move on. Shotgun, he immediately fires the ball, but it is over and out of reach for the receiver. Second and 10. Aggies going empty, Kai Cash either gonna throw it or do a designed run here. He throws it, ooh, into coverage, but he gets, gets a lucky break there, picking up only two yards on the dink and dunk. We are now just about a minute left here in this first half. The Aggies have the ball third and eight in their own territory. Cash looking for the screen, he's got it, but will he, he does, he gets up the sideline and gets to about the 40 yard line of UCLA. Big break for the Aggies there, who've been using a lot of screen plays so far, but when they work, you keep going back to it. Make them stop it. Cash again, first down, another screen. And Hobbs just methodically working his way upfield for a gain of five. Bruins are really playing kind of this soft shell defense at the moment. Just dropping all into zones. And if they stay in zones, Cash is gonna start to pick them apart. 39 seconds left. They're hurrying up. The clock starts again. Shotgun for Cash. He's scrambling. Oh, and gets brought down for the sack. They're not gonna take their last time out here. They're gonna have everybody hurry. You see all the receivers running back. They barely get set as Cash snaps it. Scrambles again, this time he slides. They may just have to take the timeout. No, they're gonna, they're gonna snap it. Third and eight with seven seconds on the clock. Cash runs it for the first down. That has stopped the clock. They're gonna go for the field goal to tie the game up. And that's exactly what they do. You see Walker's pumped about that, tying the game up here. So it looks like unless we have a miracle return here. Oh, they're gonna kick it deep. They should have kicked it short, and run off the clock. But apparently, we're gonna get one more snap of offense from the Bruins now that it's a tied game. Let's see what they do with this snap. They're in the shotgun. Breedlove's got the, the arm. No, they're just gonna hand it off to Williams. Ooh, it's taken down with sort of a violent tackle from behind. And there you go as we reach halftime here at Football Rivals. It's been a wild ride between Texas A&M and UCLA. The score is tied, but both teams know that the second half will be a true test of their championship medal. We've seen the Nick Harris touchdowns. We've seen the deep arm of Nate Breedlove. We've seen the Bruins be able to get it into the end zone and we've seen Jim Parrish dotting the sidelines with his signature interceptions. What a start, not just to this game, but what a start to the season. Incredible start to this season. There's gonna be so much more here for the rest of the year, the rest of the way. Make sure if you're watching right now, you follow, you subscribe, you like, you comment, you share. That's how we grow the rivalry. And then Skip takes a sip of coffee.
the Aggies are lined up for the kickoff. And we're back, and the Bruins will get the ball. And what else? A touchback. So it's essentially a 0-0 game at this point. Breedlove in the shotgun, fires the ball over the middle. And as anticipated, they are coming out on the attack. I think the defenses have played pretty well so far, but clearly both of these quarterbacks have the fire and desire to rip some heaters, some, some shots off in at these receivers. I don't know if that was poetry, but it sure felt like it. First and 10, 748 here in the third quarter. Breedlove, ooh! Tries to throw it over the middle, and his receiver got decleated. Somebody get the smelling salts. Breedlove, second and 10, pistol shotgun. A screen pass to Williams, but it goes nowhere. A loss of five yards on the play. Not good. You know, it's got to bother a little bit a quarterback like Breedlove, who's got an absolute howitzer, as we saw in the first quarter with that moonshot, 50 yards in the air. No problem. It's got to bother him a little bit to be asked to throw all these screens, right? I mean... If you got a cannon, let the young man sling it, which he is here. He throws it. Oh, but the receiver can't hold on. Was still short of the sticks. I never love those calls. I mean, I understand having to have different areas of the field for routes, but I never understand throwing it to the man short of the sticks especially when you've got that heavy grade artillery on Nate Breedlove's right arm. But now Kai Cash is gonna get his chance. His first drive of the first half was exceptional, where he technically threw two touchdowns, but only got credit for one. Let's see if he can engineer a similarly poised drive for the start of the second half. And he does with that one, a first down right over the middle. No problem. Fakes a little run action. Doesn't fool the Bruins much. They're sitting in zones. But there was some, some nice open, soft coverage right in the middle there for Cash to take advantage of. They got the ball around the 41 yard line. First and 10, Hobbs in the backfield, shotgun. Gets the ball, but ooh. Oh, he fights through, incredible. That is one of the toughest zero gains I've seen in a long time. Hobbs fights off two men to go nowhere. Second and 10. Looks like trips left. Fakes the handoff to Hobbs, runs it up the gut and slides very quickly. Seems like he would have had the room to kind of squeeze up through the middle there, but he sees it better than I do from down there. So you got to give him, give him the credit. He slid, protected himself. I'm sure the coach appreciates that. Now third and six. Cash has got the time. He's got the time. He's got to find somebody. He fires it, and it is for a first down. Nice pickup. Work back to your quarterback, young man. The receiver really made sure he got past the sticks and worked his way back. He even kind of dipped under him after he caught it, but quickly rectified that. Cash first and 10 for about the 46 yard line of the Bruins. He tries to fight it off, but gets brought down for another sack. This Bruins defense is starting to pile up sacks, but it's as much on Kai Cash as it is on the pass rush. Say a little column A, column B there. Williams getting another sack. I believe that's his second on the day. And you can hear him talking smack from the field, says, I'm coming for you. Kai Cash, empty set, second and 16 for about the 50. Oh no, it's a quarterback draw and he just gets pulverized for no gain. Can't say I love that call. Kai Cash exposing himself to a lot 
of abuse in this first game of the season. It's going to be a long season, and they hope to be standing tall at the end of it, just like they did last season. But they have got to be a little bit more quarterback friendly in the plays they're calling. Cash has time. Has time, but no one available downfield. He eats it and takes the sack. Is that Williams' third sack of the game? Incredible. Incredible. And he gets upended by Hobbs, but there is just absolute. That is a coverage sack. Nowhere for Cash to go. But he's trying to do the right thing and just protect himself. But he's still getting thrown down and then need in the back. AM. Somebody go shake the offensive coordinator and then wake up the offensive line coach. Tell them both, hey, you got a, a phenomenal quarterback talent here that is just getting pummeled week one. If I were the head coach of the Aggies, I would not be very happy right now. Bruins get the ball on the punt return. White gets just a couple of yards there. Now we'll see, can Breedlove make something of this drive? Shotgun set, he's got Williams in the backfield. Hands it off to Williams who finds a hole and then got about nine yards there just short of the first down. That'll make it second and inches. Got about four minutes and 10 seconds left here in the second half, third quarter. There is still plenty of game left. Breedlove fakes the handoff and fires a laser beam over the middle for a first down. Can hardly see that ball when Nate Breedlove slings it. Shotgun face the handoff. He's got a man downfield. He fires it into coverage and still gets the first down. Nate Breedlove. Not afraid to place that ball into traffic. Hope that doesn't come back to haunt him at some point in this game, but so far, he is having a, a very solid game. It's deceiving. It feels like there's been a lot of offense in this game, but it is only 10-10. He's got the option. He pitches it out. He's got the first down and breaks two tackles as he gets driven out of bounds inside the 20, about the 18-yard line. Big play on the option there. Breedlove pitches it at the perfect moment. And then he manages to shake off two tacklers. Big play for UCLA. They are knocking. Here in the red zone, going empty. Breedlove looking for a receiver. He finds one along the sidelines, picking up only three yards there. Shotgun for Breedlove, second and seven. He's looking. He's got a man. Oh no, it's intercepted in the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone by the Aggies. Huge, huge play for the AM defense. Breedlove shaking his head. He thought he had a touchdown and gets robbed in the back of the end zone. Kai Cash hands it off. Oh, but that is ultimately a loss on the motion handoff. What a game we're seeing. You know, I, I think I wasn't giving the defenses enough credit just because both quarterbacks have been playing such strong games. But the defenses really are keeping this thing in check. Ooh, the keeper, man. Cash getting brought down hard. Clearly, clearly the a and coaching staff is not listening to my play-by-play. -play. And at this point, I'm going to continue to roast them for as long as they put Kai Cash in danger. I want to call Kai Cash games all season. If he gets hurt because of the way they're calling plays, it's going to be bad news for everybody. And just like that, they were backed up too far. 
they got to punt it away. The defending champs really struggling on the ropes here against a surprisingly feisty UCLA team. White trying to fight off the tackle to really break the return open, but Brown brings him down. Shotgun set for Breedlove here. Fires over the middle, but it's incomplete. Incomplete. Second and 10. Another full house set here. Fakes the handoff. Throws it to the, the halfback, or the fullback, rather. Picking up a couple just short. He fakes it to the back, who then leaks out and becomes the receiver. But he just can't pick up that first down. Brown really laying the lumber. Anytime a linebacker has got that big old extra cowboy collar or, or neck roll going on, you know they like to hit. Staying in that full house set, but just, ooh, throwing it away here. Third and one. Could have had something else drawn up. Having to throw it away. Oh, they're going to go for it. I like the aggressiveness here. UCLA has been having their way on defense. Ooh, fakes the handoff, but he finds the fullback for the first down. Huge play for the Bruins late in the third quarter to keep this drive alive on fourth down. They're now inside the AM 50. They're at about the 45 yard line. Green Love shotgun, first and 10, fakes the handoff. No, another interception for Breedlove. And this time it looks like it's the safety. Oh, the Bruins have been playing so well against the defending champs. But they are just making critical errors. They just had that fourth down conversion and now he throws an interception. Maybe he just didn't see him there. Wow, Kai Cash. Gets the ball back. Fakes the handoff to Hobbs. Now he runs it. He fakes off the tackler and slides, protecting himself. If the offensive line and the play caller won't do it, he'll protect himself while getting the first down. Gotta love Kai Cash, this sophomore quarterback, having a strong first showing. Receiver in motion. Has him as an option back. He pitches it out to him, and he's got it way past the 30 down inside the 25-yard line. Kai Cash making an excellent decision about when to pitch the ball. The last possible moment, taking a gangland tackle. What a leader. Kai Cash is balling out today. Making the really good decision there. Hope I don't jinx him. He's already thrown a few interceptions. Cash hits Hobbs over the middle. Small gain, two yards for number two. But you can see why I'm so excited to have Kai Cash in this league starting at quarterback. Makes the game just that much more fun to call. It's exciting. And he pitches it again with an excellent decision. Hobbs fights through two, three, four, five, six, nineteen, three hundred 19, 300 men. Johnny Hobbs does not get the first down on what is a bodacious run. But speaking of bodacious, the Bruins have been bodacious in their attack of Kai Cash, and we are now in the fourth quarter. Put those fours up. Shotgun third in inches. He hits the fullback who gets up for the first down after fighting off the tackle. Wow. Kai Cash, man. 
He is lifting up. That is a good quarterback when you elevate players around you. Now he hands it to Hobbs. Fights up the gut. I'm still blown away by that Hobbs run earlier that did not get a first down, but should have been worth six points anyways for how many men he fought through just to get it to third and inches. The workhorse, Johnny Hobbs. Second and goal, shotgun set for Cash. He pitches it to Hobbs who breaks. Not enough tackles that time. Third and goal, the Bruins are pumped. Pumped. Third and goal from about the six yard line. Kai Cash in the shotgun. He's looking, he's got a man in the back of the end zone and that's a touchdown to Harris. Nick Harris getting the touchdown number two in week one for number 12. Week one, two touchdowns, one, two. Nick Harris. Wow. Kai Cash to Nick Harris. The champs are on top by a touchdown. With about seven minutes left to play in this game, this kickoff classic here in Arlington. The kick is up. And touchback. You knew that though, right? We get, we're lucky if we get two to three returns. And Breedlove trying to shake off his own interceptions. Oh, they got a wildcat thing going on here. They hand it off to the man in motion who loses two yards. The Wildcat, not so wild today. Both teams have been sniffing out the Wildcat. There has been limited success because they are just bearing down, doubtful that the back is gonna throw it. Breedlove empty, shows, throws a short screen, goes nowhere, nowhere. That is a third and long now for Breedlove and the Bruins. Again, I don't get, you have a quarterback with an arm like his and they're throwing all the screen stuff. And a and snipped it out now. They're, they're pressing down in their coverage. Daring them to throw it deep. He's got the arm for it, third and 13. Is Breedlove gonna heed the call? No, he's gonna get brought down for a sack. Fourth and 18 and it looks like the Bruins are gonna have to punt it. Look at that, receiver short, short. Breedlove's looking for somebody deep and it doesn't seem like anybody was getting deep. Little miscommunication for a strong-armed quarterback in a system that is not necessarily dialing up the moonshots. And look what happened in the first quarter. They had the huge bomb that got them right on the goal line. Instead, they're punting it away. And Kai Cash and company are getting the ball with under six minutes left, up by seven points, already at the 41-yard line. Shotgun, first and 10, sending a man in motion, wrapping around behind the quarterback. He's now the pitch option man. Cash keeps it, scrambles, shakes off, and now he is going deep. He is running, he is going, going, gone! Kai Cash with a on to the scene, making a statement in this opening weekend. Incredible, what can number nine not do? They should let him kick this point. Instead, they let the kicker keep his job and Kai Cash has pretty clearly earned his. Incredible. Is that a 60 yard touchdown run for Kai Cash? Incredible. The Bruins really feeling the pressure now. 
They have got to dial something up here. Breedlove's got the talent. He's got the arm, but they are just not calling the right kind of plays. And now look at this set. Looks more like a power run formation. And it is. Williams breaking out to the boundary. He's getting the first down, but I understand wanting to keep it balanced, but the game is slipping away here and you have fought so hard and so valiantly against the defending champs, but man, Kai Cash really separated. Shotgun empty set for Breedlove. He's got the time, but again, throwing it short and incomplete. Somebody has got to get downfield for Nate Breedlove. Second and 10 here. Breedlove got the ball, throws it again to the boundary. Only picking up six with five minutes left in the game and you're down two scores, two touchdowns. Just don't agree with the play calling right now for UCLA, but hey, that's why I'm up here and they're down there. Need to see a little bit more urgency from UCLA here. He's under center. Sending the man in motion, wrapping around, going out on a route. Breedlove hits his receiver. He's down around the 40. It's a first down. Yeah, just a laser beam from Breedlove. You know, he may, he's may have thrown a few interceptions this game, but, but he's still quite a specimen at quarterback. And, you know, he, he's definitely got the ability to lead the team. Fake handoff. Is he going to throw it deep? Nope. Another short one, but he's got a little bit of room. See, second and three. Clock is ticking. About 420 in the game. Ooh, he's brought down. Williams is brought down for a loss there on second. Not what they wanted. Third and six, and the clock is ticking. Come on. Four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Four, four, four. Shotgun for Breedlove, third and six, sending a man in motion left to right. Still making adjustments. Hits his receiver over the middle, and that's a first down. They have really got to hurry up now. Shotgun set. You can see Williams in the backfield. He is huffing and puffing. But he gets the ball anyways, and he goes right up the gut into the jaws of the defense. Still manages to pick up six, but he is really huffing now. Pistol set for the Bruins. Breedlove option, pitches it out. He's got the first down. He's speeding towards the edge. Big pickup for the Bruins here. If they can score a touchdown, they, they have a chance. But it is really critical. They need to score a touchdown right now. Fakes the handoff, Breedlove looking for it. Firing and he's got it! He's got the touchdown! It's exactly what UCLA needed. Will Gibbons, a tight end, having himself a game. So critical in that moment for UCLA to get a touchdown. Now a lot more work still has to happen with under three minutes. Gotta get this extra point. Got to stop a red-hot Kai Cash. The extra point is good. But they got the extra point. Now they got to stop Kai Cash. But hey, it's college football. Anything can happen with three minutes left. Kicks it deep, and they are going to kneel it, obviously. Let's see. 
How aggressive do the Aggies want to be here? Shotgun set. First and ten. Looks like they want to be aggressive. Throwing it deep, and he's got a man. Oh, no. And he is. He's got his man. Number 88, and they are pulling out all the stops. Moore just uses a tiny bit of footwork. The defender dives and cannot wrap him up, and that is it. John Moore knows it's a shoe in. Waltz into that end zone. He could time step into the end zone and be safe. It's gonna be 31 to 17. Greenlove's touchdown effectively neutralized. High cash. Talk about a boost to the defending national champions as if they weren't good enough already. They've now got this guy at quarterback. Look out, league. With 2.45 left in the game, it is 31 to 17. A and M. Give me more. Wow. Let's see what the Bruins dial up. You know, Breedlove's got to be begging them just four goes, just all go. Instead, some more short stuff, but he does find the one deep receiver around the 50. Breedlove trying to do his part. UCLA wants to keep as many timeouts as they can, so they are hurrying up, trying to get the snap off as close to that clock, starting back up as they can. Breedlove fires another shot, and this time it looks like the tight end holds on. Again, rushing up to the line. Clock starts, and they get the ball snapped. This is effective use, and he finds again for a first down. This is how they should have been playing the whole game. This is the kind of up-tempo, precision, strong-arm throwing Breedlove is great at. And he fires another touchdown to Gooden. He was open. He was open with a big O. Breedlove refusing to go quietly into the night refusing to concede to the defending champions. We have got a game here. You can see him talking about on the sideline. This game is not over. We have all our timeouts, 222 left in the fourth. They have just got to do something to stop Kai Cash now. They've got to find a way to take Kai Cash out of the game. Not literally, just put an extra QB spy, something on him, send more pressure, something. Oh, and here goes Cash again. First down run. This kid is a phenom and it's only week one. Incredible. So glad to have Kai Cash here. Oh, here we go, another Wildcat. Hobbs acting like a quarterback making some sort of adjustment. Just trying to run that clock out and probably run it right up the gut. First and 10, Wildcat, Hobbs. Oh, is he gonna throw it? He throws it and, oh no! Oh my goodness! And it's Jim Parrish and he's got a house call! Can he get there? Pick six for Jim Parrish with his third interception of the game. They just tied this game up on a Wildcat interception. Can you believe that? This is Football Rivals. What a game. Jim Parrish making a statement. Week one, number one DB in the country.
And here we are for the PAT to actually tie the game. It's up and it is good. We have ourselves a tie game. Parrish saying, hey, Kai Cash, what are you gonna do about that? They're challenging the defending champions. I told you anything can happen, and it will, here in Football Rivals. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash the subscribe, smash the like, leave a comment, tell them what a crazy person you must be to be missing out on football action like this. What is gonna happen here, Kai Cash and Co. Shotgun set, and he is gonna sling it. He throws it over the middle. Hobbs picking up some tough yards. Gain a six there. Now they're running the hurry up offense. Second and four. Cash has got the ball. He slings it deep, and he brings it in. John Moore with the stick em hands. Boom into the cradle. Cash and company may be able to just get into field goal range and call it a night. They are on the edge of it right now. What do you do? They stay in the shotgun. Doesn't mean they're not gonna run it with Hobbs up the middle. They don't. Cash, oh, trying to run himself and gets brought down for another sack. Taking themselves out of field goal range there. Everyone just barely getting set. Oh no. Williams with, I don't even know how many sacks at this point. Third and 18, completely out of field goal range. They have got to get about 10 or more yards just to get in field goal range. Third and 18, shotgun set. 36 seconds left on the clock. Kai Cash has taken the snap in the shotgun in his own side of the field. While the Aggies are on the Bruin side of the field, they're really gonna let the clock go down now. 20 seconds. Cash it. He's got throws a moon oh, no, he's oh my god! Gilbert open! He's got and it's a touchdown! This game. The Texas faithful are deafening. And your boy, Skip Lloyd, might be losing his voice by the time this one's over. What a game. Ooh, can Breedlove do anything with 12 seconds left? Three timeouts, but you need a touchdown. How could the Bruins have played? Oh, what, what a horrible defensive scheme. Just giving up a bomb with no help over top. Breedlove in the shotgun, trying not to play defeated. See what he does. Throws one to the boundary. It's a first down, but eight seconds left now. Here we go. Breedlove's got the time. He's throwing it deep. Oh, and it's picked off. It's another interception for Breedlove. What a way to go out. The Bruins put up a valiant effort. And I'm sure that's what Williams is telling him right now. You played a hell of a game. We didn't do enough as a team. This was a collective team loss for the Bruins. 
You could say a team win for AM as he hands it off to the workhorse to end the game. But man, this was all about number nine joining an already championship team. They have got to be consensus favorites right now to repeat after a performance like that. And consider that Cash had turnovers. Just a monster game. Thank you so much for joining us. An unforgettable season opener for the kickoff classic here in Football Rivals. I'm Skip Lloyd reminding you, subscribe, follow, like for more thrilling college football action. Congratulations to the Aggies on a fantastic start to the season. And here's to another year of unforgettable moments in the college series. Until next time, football fans, this has been Football Rivals.